Hi. In our previous class, I showed you the adverb and adjective demasiado here. That means too much or just simply too, okay? So demasiado can work as an adverb or as an adjective. And in the previous class I showed you, I spoke a bit about uh, this, this word, but now we will see some sentences where here I expect that you will be able to assimilate this, uh, this uh, new, the meaning of the word and how to use it. So let's begin with the first one here. Remember that in black I have written the translation in English and in blue the sentences in Spanish. And here I have even tried to to, uh, to do a, a word by word translation, right? So perhaps it's not syntactically perfect in English, but uh, I, I expect it to be a bit uh, more useful for you. Like here, you see it's kind of a word by word translation, okay? I hope it can help a bit more. Let's begin with Estoy demasiado cansado. Estoy demasiado cansado. This means, I am too tired. I am, remember that in Spanish we can omit the subject pronoun because the conjugated verb always indicates which is a subject, okay? So, estoy is I am. Demasiado, too, tired, okay? Here, I am, this is a male speaking, right? Because we can see that the ending of tired is O, okay? And um, remember that all adjectives change to male or female, okay, in Spanish. So here, if, if it were a woman, a woman that would be speaking, it would be estoy demasiado cansada. So the, the ending of the adjective would turn into an A, however, Demasiado would remain ending in O, because as an adverb, the ending does not change. Ellas están demasiado cansadas. Ellas están demasiado cansadas. They, remember, ellas means they feminine, okay? They masculine would be ellos. And this is ellas. Uh, these are uh, women or girls. Or can also be um, objects uh, that uh, are feminine, okay? Ellas están demasiado cansadas. They are too tired, okay? You can see here, uh, cansadas. The adjective refers to a feminine plural uh, subject, right? So it ends in AS. However, demasiado still remains demasiado, ending in O, because as an adverb it does not change, okay? And um, I mentioned before that in Spanish we can omit the subject pronoun, okay? And if we just omitted ellas, and we just said están demasiado cansadas it would be perfect grammatically, syntactically, semantically, that would be perfect simply we include the word ellas to specify that we are talking about they, in this case feminine they, okay? just it provides a bit more information but it's not necessary for the uh, structure of the sentence to be correct. Aquí hay demasiada agua. Aquí hay demasiada agua. Here, there is too much water. You see here, when, uh, when uh, demasiado is means too much or when it works uh, functions as an, an adjective it does change the ending to suit to match the the noun in this case agua 
is singular and it is feminine, right? Agua is water. So, demasiada ends in an A, right? Allí hay demasiado poca agua. Allí hay demasiada, demasiado poca agua. So, this is over there, right? Or there. Allí is there. So, in English I translated it as over there. I, here, H-A-Y, is there is, okay? Comes uh, from verb haber. I, too much, uh, sorry, too little water. Over there, there is too little water water. ¿Ok? Hay demasiado poco dinero para demasiadas personas. This means there is, I is there is again, too little money for too many persons. ¿Ok? That would be the word by word translation. Hay demasiado poco dinero para demasiadas personas. There is too little money for too many persons. Hay demasiadas pocas cosas adentro de la caja. Hay demasiadas pocas cosas adentro de la caja. So, um, again, hay is there is, in this case there are, because hay... In Spanish, the word hay can mean there is or there are indistinctly. So just through the context, we can understand if uh, this would be there is or there are, okay? Since here, it's uh, plural, okay? We're talking about the things, okay? Cosas means things. Then we know that this is plural. It's, it's there is, there are. So, there are too few things inside of the box. Hay demasiadas pocas cosas adentro de la caja. You see here, demasiadas is working as an adjective. Todavía hay demasiadas pocas personas en la fiesta. Todavía hay demasiadas pocas personas en la fiesta. Still, there are too few persons in the party. ¿Ok? So, todavía means still. I know the, the structure here in English is not correct, right? There are still too that would be the right thing, but here it's a word-by-word -word translation. And our last sentence. Aún hay demasiados pocos invitados en la fiesta. Aún hay demasiados pocos invitados en la fiesta. This means still. So, as you can see, aún, with a tilde on the U, and todavía, these are synonyms, right? Both words mean exactly the same and they can use, be used in the same uh, cases, okay? So, still there are too few guests in the party, okay? So, uh, as you can see here, just to show you how, how this changes, um, I just uh, both sentences mean exactly the same thing, only that here I use the word guests or invitees, and here I use the word persons, right? And here I use todavía or aún. I just wanted to show you how here we use demasiadas pocas and demasiados pocos, how the ending changes for the different um, nouns, okay? Because one is feminine, the other one is masculine.